Hi, fish friends. I'm so glad to see you. Let's sing our morning song. Good morning, Kiara. Good morning, Victavia. Good morning, Elise. We're glad you're here today. Good morning, Hunter. Good morning, Carter. Good morning, Turner. We're glad you're here today. Good morning, Bryn. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning, Miss Connie. We're glad you're here today. Hey, today we're gonna to be talking about eggs. Wonderful eggs. And we're gonna be talking about animals that lay eggs, which are called oviparous animals. Can you do that with me? Let's count how many syllables, how many beats it is. Oviparous, oviparous, oviparous. Those are animals that lay eggs. So let's find out who those animals are. Well, we do have one that a lot of you know about, a chicken. But chickens aren't the only ones. The eggs you boil or fry or die, and I like scrambled eggs too. Victavia, I think you did too. Here's the dyed eggs. Some of you might be doing this pretty soon for Easter. Or leave alone so you can see what grew inside. But chickens aren't the only ones. It's a beautiful bird called a peacock. I usually see them at the zoo. They make those loud noises. Every bird, wild or tame, lays an egg just the same. Or eggs. All these birds, aren't they beautiful? All these different kinds. Gotcha makes a lot of variety. He likes color and special and unique, just like all of you. And here's a turkey and a swan and duck. Those are birds, different kinds of birds too. They lay eggs. An ostrich lays the largest egg of all. It's a bird, but it doesn't fly. Kind of like a penguin that doesn't fly. This is the ostrich, it can run. Look at all the beautiful colors of eggs that God made. Isn't that amazing? And then the tiniest egg is the hummingbird. Look at the difference, see how tiny? Chickens aren't the only ones. We've got snakes and lizards and alligators and crocodiles and turtles. Get a little baby alligator. Dinosaurs, when they were here on the earth, they laid eggs too. I bet their eggs were huge, huh? Yeah. And then we've got toads and frogs and salamanders. Those are am amphibians. And then there's fish. All fish lay eggs. <gasps> Wait a second. I'm a fish, you're a fish. Do we lay eggs? I, I don't think so, I do not lay eggs. Do you lay eggs? I don't, nope. Okay, well, we're the exception. Our class is the exception. So fish lay eggs. These are beautiful colors of fish too. This is a seahorse and another beautiful fish. The mommy seahorse puts the eggs in the daddy's pouch that he's got and they, the eggs stay there, kind of like a kangaroo until they hatch. And this is a very interesting one, the shark egg. Sharks are actually fish, they're very big fish. And this is from a ray, it's called a mermaid's purse. That's a very cool looking egg. My favorite is the octopus. Look at how many. The octopus is said to shed 100,000 eggs and then hang them up in strings attached to rocks or caves. This is a moon snail and that beautiful egg. Looks like a collar. That a lot, 100,000? It's a lot of eggs. That would be a lot of octopus that came out. And then we've got a spider who makes a little silk sack for all the little babies and snails. And we have all the insects. Yep, 
caterpillars hatch out, eat yum yum yum, make chrysalis, butterflies, grasshoppers, ladybugs, other kinds of beetles, praying mantis. And when the uh, chrysalis is ready, God made a beautiful mir miracle, and out comes a beautiful butterfly. Well, animals with fur or hair who give milk to their babies don't lay eggs. They're called mammals. But there's two exceptions, the spiny anteater and the duck-billed platypus, and they live in Australia. That's why we never see them. He has a duck bill and, and he has like a beaver tail. It's kind of an interesting looking animal. So chickens aren't the only ones. There's no more to discuss. Everyone who lays an egg is oviparous. And we're gonna sort some of our animals and that I have pictures of today and a lot of them are zoo animals. We've got the Y for y yes. That's the letter Y, Yancey Yak, and the N for n, n, no, that's Nigel Nidal, that's an N. So let's start with this. Do you remember? Do birds lay eggs? B, b, bird. B, b, yes they do. All birds lay eggs. That's Bubba Bear. And we've also got a b, b, butterfly. Yep, they lay eggs too. They're one of the insects. Look, they're both blue. Horse, honey horse. Horse, yes. No, they don't lay eggs. That's an H, H. We have another animal with an H is a hamster. What's the last thing you hear in hamster? Hamster, er, er, that's the last sound, the R. It's furry, it does not lay eggs. Fish, well we know we don't lay eggs, but fish do. F, f, f. That's the letter F, Francie Fish. And we have Ellie Alligator, look. The letter A. What's the last sound you hear in alligator? Alligator. Yes, they lay eggs. Yeah, it's an R. We have a cute little pig. P -p pig. P -p Pee wee penguin. Yep, they don't lay eggs. Pig, what's the last thing you hear in pig? Pig, g pig, g g yes, it's a G. Gorda gorilla. And we've got, ooh, Sammy Snake, look. S S Sammy Snake. And yes, snakes do. This is the letter S. And another S word. Animal is a spider, and yes, they do too. S S. And we have Ellie Elephant. Can you imagine if elephants laid eggs? Eh, eh, eh. Imagine them warming their eggs and sitting on them. Eh, eh. No, they don't. That's the letter E. E. And we've got Lizzie Lizard. L, an L. L, L, Lizzie Lizard. What's the last sound you hear? Lizard. Yes, they do. They lay eggs. D, lizard, d, d, d which is this sound here, which is the first sound of dog. Dogs don't lay eggs. That's a D, 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 dear. Dog. And also D, dinosaur. And yes, they do. Or they did. And we've got a turtle. T, T, turtle. Timothy Tiger, it's a T. And yes, they do. And we've got, oh yay, Robbie Rabbit, Easter time. Er, 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 the letter R, er. So they must lay eggs because, you know, the Easter Bunny and, oh, I guess you're right. 
No, bunnies don't. They just deliver. You don't lay eggs. They're furry and cute. Kind of like Katina Cat. K -k -k C. Katina Cat. K -k -k. What's the last thing you hear in cat? K -k -k cat. Cat. Let's do the whole thing. K at. Cat. Let's do the dog. D. Ah. G. D. Og. D. Og. Dog. That's right. Dogs and cats are not oviparous. Nope, they are not. Just like us, even though we're fish. So, when you go home, when you go home, isn't that silly, Miss Connie said that? You are home. So, you can find things, animals around your house in books or pictures or actually toy animals and sort them whether they are oviparous, yes, or no. And also there's an activity. And you know what is really cool about eggs is God made them really unique and strong. He knew what he was doing. Miss Angie has some fun um, activities to do with eggs and there's one that just shows you how strong eggs can really be and how God made that just right so they can be warmed by their parents. So I will see you next time. Bye.